In this video, we'll talk about array. Now, first of all, why do we need an array? So in this video, we'll talk about the need of an array. If we talk about a variable, so normally when you create a variable, it's very simple, right? In a variable, you can store a value. Now, this can be of type integers, float, double, uh, string, doesn't matter. You have a variable and you can store values in that. Example, let's say if you talk about, uh, let's say, int variable. So how do we do that? How, how do we work with int variable? So we say int i is equal to 5. So what happens is you have a variable here, which is i, which has a value 5. What if you have one more variable here, which is, let's say, j, and it has a value which is 6? Maybe one more. You have int k is equal to 7. So you can see we have three variables here, and you have three values. Now, first of all, why do we need three variables here? It's because we have three values. What if you can save all these three values in one variable? Now, why I'm doing that is because the moment you have more variables, you have to work with multiple variables. You have to remember those variable names. Uh, you have to document them. Instead of that, if you can save that in one particular variable, it will be easier for you to maintain the data. And also, it's not just three values. You, may, you might have 10 values. You might have 20 values. You might have 100 values. You don't want to create 100 variables, right? So for that, we can use a concept called array here. Now, how it works? We can create a simple variable, let's say num, and in this num, instead of storing one value, I can store three values. Uh, so let's say if I have five, six, and seven, I'm storing these three values. Of course, we can put comma to separate them, and then we can put them in a curly bracket. To, to represent that, this is a bunch of values I want to store, and I want to assign that to a variable num. Now, being a simple integer variable, it will not work. You, you cannot simply take an integer variable by assigning four values. Reason? The moment you create a variable here, it occupies some space. Now, if you come back to this particular variable here, of course, this will occupy some space. Now, in that limited space, you can't store multiple values, right? You have to mention somewhere, hey, this particular num here is not a normal variable. It's a, a variable which can hold multiple values. And with the way you do that is by mentioning a square bracket. You mention, hey, that's an array which can hold multiple values. Now, if you want to imagine this, you can imagine an array as a tray of cups. So let's say from a kitchen, if you want to carry four cups uh, with you to the hall, of course, you can carry one cup at a time or maybe two cups because you have two hands. Or maybe you can carry just four cups by dipping your fingers in the cup. But the ideal way is you can carry a tray. Now that tray becomes your array, which can hold multiple cups. So that's your array. So why do we need array? Of course, if you want to store multiple values in one particular variable, we can use array here. The beauty is it's not just limited to three values. You can store hundred values. It's just that once you define the size of an array, you have to stick with it. Example, let's say uh, if you want to define an array, let's say num1, and if you want this to be an array and you don't have initial values here, we at this point, uh, if we talk about these three values, you know what are the values are. But what if you don't know the values? In that case, you can say new int array. So you can specify, OK, so I don't know the values. It's just that I want to create an array. This is how you do it. I want to create an int array. And you have to also mention the size here, let's say four. So this particular num1 will have four values, not more than that. Okay, so size is fixed. You can't increase dynamically. Now, once we know why do we need an array, let's continue with the example in the next video.